Many sensory illusions can occur in flight. When these illusions affect the perception of attitude, altitude, or airspeed, they result in spatial disorientation. Although incorrect, these misperceptions are normal reactions to the abnormal environment of flight. All pilots will experience some form of spatial disorientation during their flying career. Similarly, other closely related sensory phenomena can have adverse effect on maintaining safe flight parameters, even though they do not cause classic spatial disorientation. One such dangerous sensory phenomenon is known as flicker vertigo. Flicker vertigo is a unique aeromedical problem affecting aircrew members and passengers. Flicker vertigo is experienced most often by helicopter air crews and is related to light passing through or reflecting off of the rotor blades. It may also occur in propeller driven aircraft or in any aircraft with flashing strobes or anti-collision lights reflecting off clouds or other surfaces. The light passing through or reflecting off of rotor or propeller blades produces a moderate frequency flicker in the cabin similar to the flicker of a strobe light. A steady light flicker at the frequency of 4 to 20 Hertz may affect susceptible individuals by inducing vertigo or motion sickness symptoms. It is believed that the susceptibility is increased when the air crew member is fatigued, frustrated or in a state of mild hypoxia. Most people experiencing flicker vertigo simply feel a sense of annoyance or discomfort, pain in the eyes, headache a sense of movement, spinning, nausea, and or drowsiness. In very rare cases, generalized or partial seizures may be induced by the flicker. One-fourth of pilots who reported flicker during flight categorized it as annoying or distracting. In only one instance has a near mishap been attributed to flicker vertigo. Suggested methods for alleviating the effects of flicker vertigo include Briefly focusing your gaze head down in the cockpit in order to change your scan from out the window and disrupt the effect. In propeller driven aircraft, adjust the engine power setting to change the rotation frequency of the propellers. Slightly change the aircraft angle relative to the sun or clouds. Finally, if related to strobe or anti-collision lights, turn them off. You can take several steps to reduce the chances of becoming a victim of flicker vertigo. Always maintain good mission planning practices, that is, project what phases of flight and maneuvers may set you up for the phenomenon. Be aware of conditions that can lead to feeling the illusion, such as bright sun and strobe or anti-collision lights in instrument meteorological conditions or at night. Know your personal performance limitations, thoroughly analyze the situation, remain calm and focused, cross-check your instruments more frequently, trust your instruments and make them read correctly. If unable and the situation allows, transfer aircraft control. For more information, contact your nearest aerospace physiology training flight or human performance training team officer.